This show is brought to you by Manscaped. Use the code AFTV for 20% off your order and free shipping at manscaped.com. AFTV, a um, lot of heart, a lot of determination showed there. Down to 10 men after 20 minutes. How did you feel? How did you feel? Xhaka gets sent off. Do you think to yourself, why did I bother to come? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I was, I was thinking, I've been thinking that all day. And honestly, after 24 minutes, just head in hands, just sat there going, fucking hell. Was it a sending off for you? Yeah. Yeah, if it, it, we've had situations in the past with similar ones. I don't think one with Saka that we've had in the past where, you know, we're looking at those going, they should be given. Um, and the thing is, continually, he lets himself down, but I don't think he cares. He lets the manager down, and I don't think he cares. And he lets his teammates down, and, he don't, and I don't think he cares. And for someone that's part of the leadership group, you, you've got to really ask and question the mentality, because the mentality that we see from everybody else is resolute. It's warrior, it's, you know, it, it, it's all of those things. And you can't rock up every single week knowing that we've got a big week. But I'm sure he, you're saying it that way, but I'm sure, listen, he ain't deliberately done it. He ain't, but it is always him. What, what is it in his game that he just seems to always get himself sent off or booked or, you know, what is it in his game? Do you know what it is? I think you get some players that think that by doing certain actions, they get the crowd riled up. And I think he's one of those players that, is all about passion but doesn't necessarily know when to kind of implement it in the right ways and how to implement it in the right ways and thinks that by doing those sorts of things he's showing that he cares um but like he just keeps letting everyone down he keeps letting everyone like we've all we've all traveled and we shouldn't the objective today coming in was still be in the tie at full time and we are yeah. And that's no thanks to him. And it should have been easier. It should have been more comfortable. Like mm. has been said previously, we've got a massive game on Sunday. And we've He's had, out of that now. And we've, but, but by the same token, everybody else has had to do an extra mm. shift that they didn't necessarily need to do to get us through the, not, yeah, through the 70 minutes today. And that's unfair. It's unfair. Like we've had it, we had it with Saka at the Man City game when, you know, when Gabriel got sent off and he had to do the same job in the midfield. And it's a tough ask. Mm. And you know, to go and do that for 70 minutes a day, you cannot fault them. You can't fault the fans. You can't fault the team. I, I can't really even fault Arteta because whilst I criticise Xhaka, mm. I suppose the option, there's an options issue. You know? And there's a question about what, you know, why have you let Maitland-Niles go mm. and not Xhaka? Bearing in mind, Roma have been interested in both of them. Um, but it's done, um, not going to dwell on it. Um, in terms of the team today, absolutely superb. In terms of Ben White, superb. Ramsdale, superb. Um, Martinelli, Saka, even Lacazette. You know, mm. the role that Lacazette was asked to play today in terms of that what lone, lone front role, mm. um, you know, he was doing dog. He was, yeah, I, I mean, at one, turn, at one point he got really, really, really frustrated with Ramsdale because Ramsdale went long and he just turned to him and was like, hands in the air going, I'm just doing doggies here. And that's and that's how you kind of show your passion. You don't show it by by, by smashing into people, um, and like kicking people and doing the things that you know bring you down to ten men. And then you're just looking there, like he's not playing football. He missed football. With, he missed games with COVID, you know. And we're short in that area. We're short in the one area where we need him, you know. And yeah, and I don't want to, I don't, I don't want to keep doing it. Can can we can we uh, you know? It's only half time. Nil nil. Half time. It's back at our place now. Can we get the job done next week? Look, I think we can. I've got real confidence that we can. I think the challenge is um, Erdegaard. So when I looked at the team earlier and saw that we were missing Erdegaard, mm. you're really concerned because, you know, he's one of our control. I spoke about Rodri being a controller before, but he's one of ours and he's, he gives us the opportunity to kind of progress the ball in the right areas. He gets Saka and Martinelli involved in the right areas. And without that today, I mean, the midfield battle was a very interesting one because like there was no real quality on the ball on, from either side. There was no real mobility from either side. And when you play Lacazette in that 10 role, what you're asking is Saka and Martinelli to make it a transitional game. Um, and, you know, Saka had a great chance. Um, and, I, you know, and I was sitting there thinking, you know, if that, again, if that goes in, we, you know, we still won. Um, you know, Jack has let off a little bit. But, like, yeah, I think we can go there next. I think they can come to us next week and I think that we can control it. We're very good at home. I think we're... It's a case of who we're able to put out in that 11. Um, but I've got faith and confidence, having seen what they've brought forward this week, to know that actually they weren't, apart from Salah and Mane, I'm not sure who else they were really missing, that they would also be looking at bringing in maybe Thiago, um, but who would be back for next week. Um, so let's hope Egypt uh, on any bangs one when Egypt's the next plan, so that Egypt can go right through to the final. Uh, let's hope that, you know, 
Um, Mane gets through to the final, and yeah, and next week is next week's a massive game.